In today's video, I'm going to talk about the difference between remove and redo and unreconcile in Xero. When you've got a bank transaction that's incorrect and you want to deal with it in Xero, you probably know that you have two choices. You can select to unreconcile a transaction or you can select to remove and redo. In this video, I'm going to try my best to explain the difference between the two because lots of people do get confused. Okay, let's head into Xero and we'll take a look at the difference between unreconcile and remove and redo. So we're on the dashboard and the easiest way to find our bank transactions is to go to the current account. And if we look at the first two lines on here, it's very clear that this has been duplicated. We've got RBS bank fees in twice. So let's look at the second one. And what's happened here is this has been entered manually. So I've gone to plus, I've gone to say spend money, and I've filled in a transaction that says there's bank fees on the 1st of March. You can see that's not reconciled because that is all that I did at this stage. Then what happened, and it was actually on the 2nd of March, the fees fed through from the bank and I then incorrectly, instead of matching it to what I'd entered already, I entered a new transaction. So we end up with duplicates. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of one. So what I'll say is let's leave the second one. Assume that you entered it manually. So we're going to deal with the first one. So if we select it, we can see that it's reconciled. We can see that it's fed through the bank when we look at the view details. If I hit back, if I go to the top right options, now I've got to decide what do I want to do? Do I want to unreconcile this transaction or do I want to remove and redo it? So first of all, let me show you what happens if I choose unreconcile. It's actually worth reading what Zero says here. This removes the link between the imported statement line and the account transaction, but both transactions still stay. So you've got the statement line fed in and you've got the transaction. They just won't be matched anymore. So I'm going to say OK and show you that. So if we go back to our dashboard, the transaction has came back onto the bank reconciliation. But also, if we go to the account transactions, it's still there. So in other words, we've still got a duplicate. So what we should have done instead is we should have chosen the transaction, went to options and chose remove and redo. So we do that. There's no warning this time. But what happens now is it removes the transaction. So now we don't have two transactions. We don't have a duplicate. We only have one. And because it fed in from the bank, it's gone back to the bank statement. And this time we match it to the correct transaction. Say OK. Look at our account transactions. And now we only have one. OK, before we finish, I'm going to explain this for one more time. So what we have here is what happens in Xero. We have our bank reconciliation and we also have the transactions in Xero. So looking at the same transaction that we've already spoken about, we have RBS bank fees for £12. They are reconciled in the bank and the fees are also in Xero as a spend money transaction and there's a link between the two. Now, now we've realized that there is a mistake. So we have an option now to unreconcile. If we unreconcile, this is what happens. And the bank reconciliation, we still have the transaction, but it's back on the reconciliation screen as being unreconciled. And in zero, we also still have the transaction. It still exists because we haven't got rid of it. There just simply isn't a link between the two anymore. So let's compare that to if instead we choose remove and redo. So we've the same transaction to begin with, but when we remove and redo on the bank reconciliation, again, the bank fees for £12 go back there as being unreconciled, but because we chose 
remove, there is now no transaction in zero. So hopefully that's made it clear. That's the difference between the two. I hope you find that useful. Remember, if you need help with your zero account, you can get in touch. You can always arrange one-to-one -one coaching from the description below where you can find access to my calendar. But until next time, until the next video, happy zeroing.